Yeah. Wait, are you guys, am I plugged in? Yes. Hello? 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 Yeah, you're plugged in. Okay, so, um, it's Lila. So, um, I've never done this before, but we're all in a Muller right now. Um, and I guess if people just kind of wanted to know what's been happening lately. There's about 507 people who are dead now in Gaza, um, 2,400 injured. The latest casualties was one mother and three children and a bunch of paramedics who have been killed by, I guess, the Israeli invasion. Um, along with Gaza. <laughs> I, think, I think basically what we have to remember here is that all this is going on in Gaza. It's part of a larger thing. In the West Bank and in Gaza, it's been occupied by Israel. And people are having to live every day in huge, I guess, humiliation and, and dealing with Israeli armies invading their homes, humiliating them at checkpoints, in Gaza, shutting down the border. They haven't had medical supplies for how long. Food and, and other supplies have been really scarce. And right now what you have is a human catastrophe where people, basically in the hospitals, they don't even have enough supplies to treat the injured or the wounded. Today they bombed a fruit market. Yesterday they bombed a mosque. So it's basically murder, and Israel is lying on television, and the governments are not doing anything. So I think it's something that the people of Canada and everybody around the world who cares about Palestinian people, who are brave and fighting as hard as they can to be free and to have, you know, a life that's worth living, people have to stand in solidarity with them, and they have to do it in a meaningful way. And demos are incredible. People are really excited here that people are coming out across the world in solidarity. But it has to go beyond chanting and it has to get a little bit more feisty. So I hope people can take that with them and not just go to demos, but also really put pressure on their government, boycott Israeli goods, and really make your voice heard so that people in Gaza actually get a bit of support from the outside. Um, I'm going to pass it over to someone else who might have something else to say. Um, okay, hi folks, uh, this is Cash here, uh, really weird talking to 500 people that I can't see. Um, but yeah, we, we just got here a few days ago as well, and one of the things I really want to say is being connected with people back home as well is knowing that watching sort of the mainstream corporate media is not getting the message out, and I would really, really like to hit home that everybody there who has access to the internet, and I know you can go to the library and get it too, um, is to check out aljazeeraenglish.net. Um, I think that that's incredibly important. And I also think that we need to stop being so careful about whether or not we should engage in conversations about the Palestinian-Israeli issue. I think that we need to um, really ensure that we're spending the time to really know what we're talking about, go and get educated about it, and engage in conversations with everybody about it, because we need to be talking about this more. Um, so that's it. I also just want to say that um, we need to, again, contextualize this within the larger occupation um, and that we were just in a small uh, village today in, called Milin, and they're building a wall around Milin as well. And if you think about how Gaza has been shut off with one way in and out and being able to get um, humanitarian aid, this is happening in the West Bank as well. And Milin right now is one town in one village in the West Bank that's starting to experience um, increasing pressure by the Israeli government and Israeli soldiers. And so this isn't just within Gaza, although I think that our love and our support and solidarity need to go there. But we need to remember that this is within a larger context. And um, I really, really just hope that people continue their solidarity with uh, the Palestinian people here. And, uh, yeah, and that's, that's all we're going to say, I think, for now. So thanks so, so much for coming out. We're telling everybody here that people are in solidarity. Um, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing more about it.